what is getting leaked for Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode five? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what's getting leaked. And yes, as always, we're gonna be looking at the most reliable sources. Riders on the What's going on guys? My name is Tyler. We're going to be breaking down these leaks. So if you accidentally stumbled upon this video, you might want to go for now because there will be spoilers ahead. Let's head on to Marvel Studio spoilers where these short little posts have been verified by the mods lately and they've all been pretty much true. So for episode five, we're going to have a runtime of 61 minutes, including the credits. And it's very similar to the last episode. I believe it was last uh, 57 minutes and that includes the credits as well. Sam and Bucky will also go back to Louisiana. That really tells us a lot. Because if we refer back to the trailers of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we can see that Sam Wilson is wielding the shield around in this forest. And for those of you who don't live in Louisiana, which also includes me, there's a lot of woods. So obviously Sam Wilson is going to get the Captain America shield back in episode five. And it honestly makes a lot of sense because of that ending that was really brutal last episode. It was now there was a lot of speculation and I personally thought that he was going to get the shield after the government said, hey, uh, John Walker, you're canceled. And I thought, oh, that's how they're going to hand it over. But it looks like it's not because of this new trailer that just came out only moments before I started creating this video. Steve believed in you. He trusted you. Why don't you give up that shield? I did what I thought was right. I am Captain America. I know all we have to do. We don't want anyone else to get hurt. You don't want to do this. Yeah, we do. I mean, it almost looks like the episode might start off in this scene, or at least it'll be heading towards the beginning of the episode. So we're gonna have this showdown of Bucky, Sam Wilson versus John Walker, and it, it honestly is going to be a really good fight now especially that he has the serum inside of him. And I don't think people really notice this, but John Walker's power now in him is just incredible because we have to understand that Steve Rogers was nothing. He was, I mean, like a twig before he had the serum and obviously afterwards, just super strength. And he also had a lot of heart. He wasn't cocky, he wasn't a prick, he wasn't a bad dude. And if you remember this quote from Captain America, the original movie, it still speaks volume today in the MCU. That's why you were chosen. Because a strong man who has known power all his life may lose respect for that power. But a weak man knows the value of strength and knows compassion. So yes, the serum basically amplifies the person who's given it. And we take a look at a guy like John Walker before he took the serum, he was already a really strong dude. And that is completely different from Steve Rogers. So I think Bucky and Sam Wilson are gonna find out real fast that John Walker is very, very strong. And then obviously we all know about the episode five big cameo that's supposed to come out. Now let's pump the brakes for a second. We don't wanna get a WandaVision 2.0 scenario on our hands again. So let's really look at the reliable sources. So honestly, this post is really nice because it's put out in chronological order of these very good sources telling us exactly what we're going to look at when this cameo for episode five comes in. And it's laid out in bullets and the first one says, the character is very grounded, okay. They have a strong personality. Malcolm Spellman, which remember this is, I believe the creator of the show and he said this in an interview I know, would like to see them team up with Thor. The character is not T'Challa. It's not Chadwick either. The character has never been seen in the MCU before. That's really interesting. So, but hold on, pump the brakes. Okay, this isn't going to be a Mephisto situation, people. The character is not likely to appear in any upcoming film, but the character is an existing Marvel Comics character. They were not created just for the show. The character is played by a well-known performer, and this is the big thing that's been going around, is that this is going to be an actor who is very well known. Now the character, it's gonna be like one of those characters like, oh, hey, I know, I know that, I know that character, but the actor is gonna be more of like a, oh, cool, the act, this actor in the MCU, what? 
Murphy says that he knows the cameo actor is not the power broker, as he knows who the power broker is. Murphy says that he is personally a big fan of the actor. Would never have guessed they would be in the MCU. Many assume that the character was a woman because of the picture that Atlanta Filming posted, but he has since indicated that this picture was from Spider-Man, meaning there is no confirmed gender for the character. AF has admitted that he lies to mess with people, making him an unreliable source. That's Atlanta Filming. I didn't say that. That, I was just reading off the page. Their words, not mine. So that's pretty dang interesting. Now this isn't going to be a Mephisto level character, but it could be a Mephisto level actor, right? If you catch my drift here. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.